Okay, thank you everyone. My name is Michael Akilaga, and today I want to talk to you about what I learned from taking interviews with interesting people. Now, this actually began as a journalism project a few years ago. Actually, when someone took an interview with me. Yes, believe it or not, someone would like to interview me. This happened after I won a kids competition, they decided to interview the winners, I agreed, and now I'm famous. I think at least three people read that interview. But that's beside the point. The point is, after that, I got inspired to take interviews with other people and learn about their lives. The first interview or opportunity to do it came when I talked, actually won another kids competition where children had to read poems in English, Russian, and Chinese. I interviewed one of the organizers and a member of the jury. And now, I have two personal friends in Moscow and Shanghai. I never could have done that without actually going out and talking to them, which I think is pretty cool. But not only that, I also learned how to make an interview, how to ask questions, how to listen to answers, which is just as important. How to use technology, because that interview was done online. It basically snowballed from there. I started interviewing more and more people. One of the first ones is a talk with Anna Kazanova. I personally think it's very cool, because not only is she finishing her master's degree at a Shenzhen University, before that, she studied at two schools simultaneously. Two. And she knows two languages perfectly. She really shows that it is possible to be completely bilingual, especially for those who study at an international school and learn to do that specifically. After that comes another one of my interviews, which I perhaps think of as a personal favorite, and not only because it got more than 30,000 views on my YouTube channel. This is an interview with Duncan Leung. He himself is a Kung Fu legend, but is also a personal friend of Bruce Lee. With him, he studied under Ip Man, who you may have heard of. With him, I talked about history, how things worked in his day. Kung Fu, movies, Ip Man, Bruce Lee. Most importantly, the power of persistence, not giving up. If you really want to, you can become a Kung Fu master as well. After that, an interview that is very um, inspiring. This is Yevgeny Spiridonov, and he's doing quite a few amazing things. He's a musician, he's a diver, sportsman, explores caves. Actually, one of the few best in his field. With him, we talked about his childhood, sports, music, and again, it's as if actually, it's as if he said, Michael, and all the people who are watching the interview, anything is achievable. After that comes an interview for all of those who like science. This is an interview with a quantum physicist. His name is Igor Ivanov. With him, I talked about physics, sciences, but most importantly, about trying and not giving up. Very inspiring, as he was actually a child who was born in a small town but achieved great heights. In fact, now he's a professor not only at the Sun Yat-sen University in Zhuhai, he's also one of the professors at some of the best German, Portuguese, and Belgian universities. Really shows that if you try hard enough, you can achieve anything. You can become a professor at a university. After that, here's an interview with Elizabeth Jew, one for all of those who like sports. Not only is she very good at ice skating, she is so good that she got into the Olympic team China, which I personally think is pretty cool. But you know what? She gave up the Olympics, let them take a secondary place in her life and decided to pursue her university studies. Shows you on her own example that while sports are fun, studies are important as well. Now I want to introduce 
a quote by a wise man who you may know of, Confucius. And this quote reads in Chinese, so all of those who don't speak English at this TED Talk will at least get the general gist. For those who, on the other hand, do not speak Chinese, this in English reads roughly, if I'm walking among people, all of them will serve as my teacher. I can take the good points of some and imitate them and the bad points of others and correct them in myself. And I realize that Confucius hit the nail on the head with this one. Indeed, everyone I met by taking interviews or any other way, they all had something to teach me. A story, a lesson, food for thought, inspiration to go out there and do something. Other people that I interviewed and all taught me something new are a diplomat, a simultaneous interpreter, two heads of international schools, one of which, by the way, is here with us now, a TV producer, a world-famous chemist, a musician, a boy genius, who I really enjoyed talking to as he was a kid my age, a literature student, a multimedia guru, a family who travels the world, but on a yacht with a sail with their two kids, and a martial arts instructor who works for Marvel Studios. And you know what? These people, they all do amazing things, right? But they told me about their childhoods. They weren't especially cool, very good at studies. They were just normal kids like you and me. But you know what? The dreams that they had, that we all had, they decided to follow them. They did not give up on themselves, even though there indeed were chances to do so. And they achieved their dreams. You could even say that they're my heroes in a way. But the thing is, I do not want to be them. I wish to be myself, the best person that I can be. Of course, I am eternally grateful to all of the new friends I made in the way who shared their hearts and their thoughts with me and all the people who watched the interviews. And who knows, I may take an interview with you one day. Thank you.